Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am uh, working on a uh, little painting of uh, lilacs that I actually had uh, started on uh, in sometimes in the summer or maybe even in the spring when the lilacs were blooming. So um, I had put um, masking fluid on uh, a few of the small flowers on the lilac and um, add some green in the background so I have forgot totally about this and uh, when I find it in one of my sketchbook I thought I could maybe try to finish it tonight I have been uh, painting a bit during the weekend but it didn't go so well I am a bit stressed at the moment and that's not good when you are going to paint. So um, it was easier to um, try to do this one that was already started on. So I'm just uh, using, uh, I don't have any lavender lilac color that is uh, pre-made. So I blended um, some cadmium deep, cadmium red deep U, Winsor and Newton, with some um, Indian Threen blue, also Winsor Newton. So I got uh, this uh, purple lavender color. I'm wetting all of the paper as I had uh, done the background earlier so it was dry so um, now I spritz some water on it before I started then I'm just putting a few dots with uh, the purple color here and there try to use it almost straight from the tube so we can get it a bit dark in the middle where there are a bit of shadows for the stem i'm also using a Winsor newton van dyke brown and blending it with uh, Vincent Newton sap green. I'm doing some splattering with uh, purple and green to get some kind of background for it. I'm uh, left it to dry a little bit and then I'm going in and put in a little little bit of the brown for the stems. Just a bit here and there and not covering up the the white space everywhere. I'm leaving a little bit for a bit of lightness in it too so um, when uh, this has dried I'm going in even with some darker color and kind of doing negative painting around these small flowers that were out outlined. So I'm going to leave you to watch this in silence and um, in case you want to paint along you can uh, go to the settings and put it for slow or you can uh, 
speed it up if you think that uh, it kind of it's a bit boring to see me do every stroke but that way you can uh, choose by yourself how you want to see it thank you so much for uh, keeping me company and visiting my channel that's uh, something i always are grateful for if you have any questions please let me know i will leave my email in uh, the end of the recording so you can contact me if you want to know anything so um, see you soon again until next time bye bye from sweden